Climate graphs are useful for identifying climate patterns in a location. They consist of a blue bar graph representing rainfall for each month of the year and a red line graph representing the temperature. By examining a climate graph you can identify the temperature range, the seasonal distribution of rainfall and how much rainfall falls in a place. Today I am going to show you how to construct a climate graph. First we need some climate data. In the table on the screen there is a data table for New Orleans in the United States. This data has maximum average temperature data measured in degrees Celsius and rainfall data measured in millimetres. First you must use a ruler to draw your x and your two y axes. We will divide the x axes into 12 for the different months of the year and then label them January to December. On the left hand y axis we will plot the temperature in degrees Celsius. Since 33 degrees is the highest temperature in the table, we will number the y axis from 0 to 36. On the right hand y axis we'll label the rainfall in millimetres from 0 to 180. Now we will draw bars for the rainfall and colour them in blue. Now we'll use a red pen to plot the temperature data. Make sure we centre the dots in between each bar before connecting them to turn it into a line graph. Give your graph an appropriate title. Now we're finished, observe any patterns from the data. The following patterns can be identified from this graph. New Orleans has high rainfall and temperatures in the summer months, and lower rainfall and cooler temperatures in the winter months. New Orleans has a maximum average temperature range from 17 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius.